All right, I'd like to report on a integration, a upgrade on Youth Voices that we've just begun to integrate. It brings the playground from OpenAI into Youth Voices and allows students to take text as they're getting ready to post it as a discussion post and mess around with it using AI. Um, jumping right into the middle of it, I want to show you kind of what seems possible with this tool. I'm revising the first paragraph here, and uh, another sidebar is that I've been messing around recently with the idea of reverse outlining as a way to look at revision. So let's just um, move with that idea and say that what we want to do is get some information about my first paragraph that I wrote here and see if it matches what's in my head about that first paragraph, see if AI matches what's in my head, and see if they, AI can give me some suggestions or ideas and or if I disagree with it. So here's what it gives me. Um, using just the playground, I asked, so there are a couple different version things here to look at on the right side on the right. I asked for three things. I asked for it to extract the keywords from this text, which gives me an idea. It's one kind of summary. Um, and it gives me digital transformation, digital mindset, computational power, digital technologies, and youth voices. Okay, yeah, that's sort of what I think I'm writing about. I also asked it to give me the central sentence. And it's a little hard to see. I need to work on this a little bit. But um, it, at, at the end here is the central sentence. Youth Voices might be cited as an example of the shift from tools to platforms that Leonardi and Neely are identifying. Okay, central sentence, but um, can't just use that. I then looked, uh, then you can, one of the things you can do on the playground is you can at the end of a piece of text, and I pasted this, um, I actually imported that paragraph, um, and wrote at the end TLDR, and it gave me this summary. Youth Voices has undergone a digital transformation in the past two decades, transitioning from tools to platforms. This is part of what Lenardi and Nelly call the digital mindset that is necessary to be successful today. All right, um, yeah, I, that's helpful. I then moved over and I took one of the um, templates that are provided, which is article hooks. You can give it a paragraph and it will rewrite the paragraph, giving it a hook, right? Um, and this is what it gave me. I, the pros here, it doesn't include the link and it doesn't include the actual quote, so I might not. I'm, I, I actually kind of like this uh, this quote here. This is migrated from tools to people who use platforms um, to interact, and they sort of get rid of that. I, I might want to put that back in. But these summaries, these different kinds of summaries that I was able to get through AI, give me an idea for how I might want to think about revising, and I might use some of what they're used here, revising this text. One step further, I then went to Dali E, and I asked it for digital mindset from a couple different points of view. I asked it just plain out digital mindset, it gave me that image. This is Paul Clay's image of digital mindset, kind of like that. Um, this is uh, Keith Aarons. This is Alex Katz. Uh, I forget. Oh, this is Nick Cave. Faith Ringgold. Uh, I asked for a futurist. And then I asked for a science fiction artist. Um, and so these give me some ideas of, uh, you know, got me thinking again. Just a note that I can add this to the media library and make it a a featured image or I can pop it up here and it'll pop right in there into my image wherever my cursor was at the time. Um, 
All right. So all of this is available to, to youth on Youth Voices now. This and much more. I'm still figuring it out myself. The um, There's a little um, AI mojo up here in the right-hand corner. You, you open the AI mojo, and it lets you start playing. So let's see what students can do with this. Pretty exciting world we live in.